Hi, my name's Claire Bennett, I'm a GB Senior Fencing International and you're watching Sky Guide. Fencing is one of the oldest of the Olympic sports and there are three weapons in fencing. It's foil, epee and sabre. Uh, foil is my weapon of choice um, and it's one of the lightest of weapons. Then you have sabre, which is a cavalier's weapon back in the day, um, and epee where you can hit all over the body. Um, basically, the rules, that, the rules of fencing are quite simple. You want to hit your opponent first without them hitting you. So it's all about speed, timing, agility, making the correct decision whenever you see an opening and just going for it. Um, actually, people call fencing a game of physical chess as well because it's very much a psychological sport as it is physical. Nowadays, actually, fencing is so fast that it's very difficult to referee it by the naked eye. So you're wired up to a box. When you hit your opponent, either a green or red light will show, will show up. If you hit um, off target, a white light will show up to show that it's off target and, you, and your hit is invalid. There are specific areas of the body that, that you aim for depending on the type of weapon you do. So I do foil and my, my weapon is actually a point based weapon and the target area is a torso area so you'd hit in the front or the shoulders and the back whereas the other two weapons you have epee you can hit all over the body and sabre you can hit from the waist upwards. People perceive fencing to be you know a singular individual sport one on one combat when actually it is that but we do have a team event and actually in the London 2012 Olympic Games um, there'll be a separate event, there'll be a team event and an individual event. Key fences to watch at the London 2012 Olympic Games, I'd probably say we are British number one ranked fencer Richard Cruz in men's foil. Um, he's, he's going for gold this year, so he would be one to look out for. Um, you know, the whole team are trained up um, and ready to go.